Hello, hello, welcome. Today we're going to do a reading just for the daily, daily collective. First things first, we're going to cleanse the energy. I already did this and the video wouldn't upload and it wouldn't save. So apparently we need to do it again. It's fine, we're vibing. So I call in our guides, ancestors, archangels, higher self, divine, say thank you for always supporting us, loving us, holding us, and showing us the way. Please come forward to bring the messages that are in our highest and greatest good for the collective and our most healed timeline. So we remember our divinity and cleanse the space. Who knows, I should probably not have that going in my coffee. I also call in cleansing, grounding, protection, purification, and positive energy for all of our ancestors, guides, our self divine, everyone, every being, every single one. <laughs> I've also lit a white candle in honor of our, of everyone, of every being for peace, protection, and healing. So I'm going to let it go all the way out and it'll be so. Let us see. Let us see, let us see, let us see. We are going to start this off by first looking at some tarot. So, connect me to the collective who are going to watch this video. Ancestors, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna go with four cards. The first one is gonna be the overall energy that we're currently in. The second one is going to be the supporting energy, the bridge. The third one is going to be, <laughs> there's our first one. The third one is going to be um, what we can do, the advice. And then the fourth one is the outcome. and the outcome. Alright, beautiful. I love this. So the first card that we have, as I said, is the energy. So the energy that we're currently in is in the Three of Cups. We're being supported by the universe to go out and celebrate. Be with people. Have fun. Stepping into really, instead of living, being alive. Allowing ourselves to maybe indulge a little, have a few drinks, you know, have some laughs. Um, we're really in more of a lighthearted energy right now. And the bridge to that is the Page of Swords, so there could be a lot of communication happening. Maybe people are kind of a little bit on edge even. Um... a lot in their head trying wanting to move forward but it not being exactly the time to do so because pages are all in the astral realm they haven't actually solidified any action yet so it's like desiring thinking of things um trying to strategize maybe about your future maybe that's where you are that's the supporting energy and the empress empress is the advice here so this is to surrender completely into your feminine energy and to back off because the opposite of the empress is the emperor who's someone who's like here's the plan this is what we're gonna do i'm in control empresses um some people like to believe that she's pregnant here so she's very receptive right she's about to give birth so she can't do everything on her own so that is honestly the advice here is recognize that you're not supposed to do everything on your own and that the moment that you surrender you what you think is what you need to do that is when you can really allow the universe to come in and show you so the advice is really like allow a step into an embodiment of allowing when something happens maybe someone says something to you that triggers you with the three of cups and the page of swords or maybe this something when you're out celebrating having fun something triggers you you want to say something mentally and just like allowing allowing that experience to be without jumping on something it's like needing to slow down a little needing to back off a little needing to observe more than 
um, achieve. The outcome, the Hierophant, this is spiritual ascension. This is a higher understanding. The outcome is you embodying your higher self more. So that's what you have to look forward to, is you embodying your higher self more. Especially with the moon card at the bottom of the deck here. This is us, first of all, not understanding everything that's occurring right now. Being a little caught in an illusion, maybe. But also... I feel as though we're being pushed into this space of nothing really makes sense so that you can really, really start to tune into your intuition, to your inner guidance, to really open this channel up, to see what do I intuitively, not intellectually, but what do I intuitively feel? What do I sense in myself? That is, that's the supportive energy of this, of today, I suppose. So let's see what the moon has to say for us today. Messages in our highest and greatest good for the collective today, please. We have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. Other messages for the and bring love into the situation new moon and aquarius with a new start is coming at the bottom of the deck so if things have been very tumultuous very difficult for you that is shifting that's definitely shifting i feel like page of swords is definitely like this energy of being on guard and maybe it's because you're like questioning people's intentions or questioning connections. The Empress is like, fall back, fall back, okay? If you are in this space of not understanding, not being clear, don't move. Don't do, don't make huge decisions for yourself. Respect the time it takes for you to get into a space of clarity. Personal issue re reaches resolution. This is maybe you were trying to fix something and maybe the answer instead of going out and doing something is actually just to fall back and allow it to resolve itself allow time to work its magic expect powerful change maybe something that you thought you've always going to be um su suppressing you and always going to be hurting you is now about to shift bring love into the situation and a new star is coming all of this purple energy so it's having to see things from like a po uh, powerful, but, but yeah, having to see things from a powerful higher perspective. I might not understand why now, but I'm sure that I will eventually. The Hierophant on his hands, you can see this, the symbol of power. Recognizing that real power is within, real power is calm amongst storms so yeah the supporting energy being communication there's a lot of talk happening right now maybe there's a lot of chatter in your mind maybe that is what is causing you to feel causing just this demonic energy of like anxiety fear bring love into into yourself into your mind into your being personal issue reaches resolution this can even be personally just you you battling with your mind you trying your hardest to be receptive trying your hardest to allow and yet not being able to quiet the thoughts that are trying to control and bringing love into the situation doesn't mean you being like okay i love it will it means you being like okay i love myself no matter what but also like i love these thoughts that are anxious I love the part of me that is afraid and knowing that just because you bring love into something doesn't mean you have to change it. Love itself, loving something alone is enough nutrient for it to shift itself. Expect powerful change. You don't need to understand how and when this, this change is going to occur because the Hierophant is like, it's not intellectual, right? It's not going to make sense. Miracles don't make logical sense. That's why they're miracles. 
Let's see what um, divine animal is with us today. We have the bull sacrifice. Interesting, with the number 10 or 40. Confirmation for the bull, please, for the sacrifice. Thank you. We have groundedness, armadillo. Wow, those are your beautiful cards. With the number seven. And transformation, sea otter. Interesting. Let's see what's at the bottom here. News. Raven. Interesting that this is like the supporting and this is the supporting page of swords because these are both talking about receiving some download, receiving some information, just information in general, like mercurial energy. I wonder. Let me see what sacrifice says. It says all worthwhile things mean we must sacrifice something. Martyrdom rarely is a good choice. It is good to trust your tribe. Have faith that all will be well. Reciprocity and offering to something bigger than you is a powerful act. This is, yeah, I feel like this is you having to sacrifice perhaps. Maybe it is that like the friend group that you're with right now isn't really supportive of this new you that you're birthing. And you've really been struggling with, okay, I realize that like I need to change. It's time to change. It's time to be, put myself out there in a new way. It's time for me to to find people who are more like this new this new me that I'm embodying. So you're having to sacrifice your ego, honestly. Having to sacrifice instant gratification. Maybe you realize that drinking is not something that makes you feel good. So you're having to sacrifice that part of you that just wants to do that constantly. Because groundedness and transformation, this is like, you're really... I'm hearing like ground down to go up in the beginning of a really a transformational process we can oftentimes get so caught up in oh what does the what are the ethers saying like what is my higher self saying what are we doing up there like what where are we going like what is the future um transcending like the ego transcending our body and The real transformation occurs here on earth, right? Not the real, but the, the the transformation that will allow you to actually see it, like with your physical eyes, happens here on earth. So it it involves you actually being in your body. So armadillo groundedness, this is you needing to ground down. You need to ground down the wisdom that you receive. So you have the Egyptian um, pyramids in the back and the sun coming down signifying honestly at leo leo season happening and the leo new moon that enlightenment needs to be pulled down so as much as you go up to the cosmos make sure you're coming down to earth let me see what it says for seven for seven it says without grounding ourselves we can become disconnected and flighty so it is an important aspect to develop go to the basics first plug into the power of the earth avoid drama and situations sometimes we need to look at the flowers at our feet before looking to the stars yes what was i saying humility is a positive trait false humility is not yeah a lot of you have been like looking up looking up for something when in reality you need to look down you need to look down your heart is down that's where your portal is it's down stop looking up and recognize that when you receive information you literally receive it through your heart chakra so maybe you being defensive towards others has been blocking the blessings that you've actually been waiting for transformation sea otter let's see what this one says Transformation is a true constant if we allow it. We can change our future and learn from our past. We should only try to transform ourselves, not someone else, as this is against free will. Do not judge others too quickly or harshly. Relax a little and rise. Yeah, bringing love into the situation, a personal issue reaches resolution. This is like, maybe we've been judging too much. 
maybe we've been in this 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 mindset of like okay well if i were them this is what i would have done which is not necessarily true because if you were them then you wouldn't have all of the knowledge that you have as you you would only have all of the knowledge and experience you have that they have as them so technically if you were them you would probably do exactly what they did because we do what we feel called to do we do the the thing that we think is the best for us in that situation so that is what that person did and if you were them you would have done that too expecting powerful change and a new start is coming it happens when we bring love when we shine light onto what is there when we shine light when we receive this and this understanding this knowing and we bring it in that is when we can really transform and like that is the sacrifice that is the sacrifice it is sacrificing our egoic want and desire to be right to say that i was hurt i was wronged you did this like sacrificing that part of us that like starving that part of us honestly that's what it feels like it feels like so urgent because that is the thing that's blocking this this very blessing this very these very connections that we've been desiring to come in So yeah, you might understand the situation from your perspective and then you think like, oh yeah, if I put myself in their shoes, like I understand why they did what they did. But do you really ever really understand why someone did what they did? You don't because you don't know all of the tiny little intricate details, all of the little paintbrushes that have made them exactly who they are. And that for that reason alone, this is why it's like when that card of transformation was like, don't try to transform anyone else but you because you only know you. So stay in you, stay in you, stay grounded in you and heal you. Don't worry about other people like that. Final message for the collective today, please. In our highest and greatest good, most your timeline. We have opening to discovery and quieting the mind. These are so beautiful. Just me out the corner. I'm like, hello. <laughs> what is the bottom of the deck here? We have Earth Magic, of course. Okay. This is the first card. Um, needing to... Quiet the mind. Okay, quiet the mind. This is that Empress energy. Backing off a little. Quieting the mind. Prioritizing. Um, grounding. Prioritizing sitting down, being silent, just breathing, just focusing on your breath. Closing your eyes and just feeling what it's like to exist in your body. I feel like that is the most sacred thing that you can ever do for yourself is give yourself the time and the presence. Because that is when you really open yourself up to discovery. With this news card coming up here, the Raven and the Page of Swords, this is getting into this new embodied state where you don't fear the unknown anymore. Like you don't fear what someone could say to you that might hurt you. Just think, I know this might be a little weird, but like, not really, but think about all of the times that you have been hurt and how you've literally picked yourself back up from, from that. And you will continue to do that. You will continue to do that. I consume only my fair share. I hold purity in high self-esteem. In high, in high esteem, but also self-esteem. <laughs> See the chakras there? This is you prioritizing your alignment of your chakras and maybe doing some research on the chakras and seeing whether you have an overactive or underactive chakra system, maybe one of them, or just speaking to yourself with the affirmations that each chakra holds. There's d many different ways. We have the root chakra, the um, sacral chakra, the solar chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra and the crown chakra. There's also the uh, stellar gateway and crown. I, I crown. I don't know. There's a lot, and there's also the earth chakra too, which is grounding into the earth, which is really necessary, guys, right now. We have I am humble. 
again that's coming that's like dropping the ego the needing to sacrifice our ego to starve it <laughs> i don't know why that's so intense but that's really what i feel like it's like starve the ego because the ego has brought you pain not to like absolutely like destroy your ego but it's like stop feeding the parts of yourself that perpetuate your suffering let's see if i can find the i only consume i consume only my fair share Intermission as we find this. Okay. Let's read this together. These are such beautiful cards. I love these. The Egyptian creator god Atum was born of the great sea of Nut the son of the primi primeval waters of chaos. He was a sun alone in darkness. Atum named himself Ra, a label for the creator of creation, a single sphere of light with only infinite night as his companion. Ra desired more, and thus the Egyptian pantheon of god and goddesses, or Neaters, arose. Probably saying these wrong, so I apologize. Chaos ensued from creation, from desire to dynasty, from dynasty to history, history to mythology. From the one came many songs. Creation is bred from both desire and necessity. And in looking at the Egyptian creation myth and what inspired the Godhead to create life forms of life force, we see desire gave way for the creator to create, perhaps out of loneliness, but also from necessity. Consumption is a byproduct of a creative universe. We create what consumes us and we consume what we create. Loneliness consumes love in order to satiate a hunger for understanding and connection. The night sky consumes the sun in order for the stars to shine, much as the sun consumes the night in order for life to grow. Creation was consumed with the notion of life as a way to understand itself, yet life is fleeting and eventually returns to its source. The modern world leads itself to a dimming of the light of creation as advertisements play to automaton automatons in a wakeless sleep. Yet wakefulness occurs when we rekindle our desires and remember what gave way to the ignition of the pulse of the world. Past, present, and future desires are a prism containing the infinite poetry of the same great stories. But satisfaction comes not by what we consume, exhaust, or destroy, but from what our relationship to our desires can illuminate. In looking at the lesson, I consume only my fair share, we must ask if what we are consuming or consumed by feels creation, feeds creation, or nourishes destruction. And if we are overindulging by feeding the ego instead of nourishing the soul, what did I fucking say? The rain just started pouring as I got to that point. Growth in consciousness doesn't depend on the will of the intellect or its possibilities, but on the intensity of the inner urge, Egyptian proverb. Consumption encompasses more than food. It carries over to metaphorical mana, the nourishment of the spirit that per permeates all living beings. The scales of truth are balanced when the weight of our share intends to satisfy a pure desire instead of devour the density of darkness. When your desires glow from a space in the heart, that light is shared and felt by all. all. Wow. So, again, this is coming back to what, what are your desires stemming from? Really understanding, um, especially when it's personal issues, whatever personal issues happen in your life, whether this is with yourself, with others, what are you desiring to cultivate and what is that coming from? What is that stemming from? What is that story? What is that wound? What is that belief? Do you want to um, fix something with someone solely to say like, oh yeah, like I was good or solely to say like, yes, I'm important. Can you give yourself that? Do you want to talk to someone where you honestly, you fell off and because you weren't in alignment together anymore, are you only wanting to talk to them for your ego to say like, yes, people want me or yes, I have lots of friends. Do you know what I mean? Like 
really having to see things for what they are sitting back using that empress energy to be reflective using that moon energy that was supporting us to lean into your intuition to intuitively ask your higher self your guides your ancestors to say like what is it that i really really actually need like actually need and how can i consume what lights up my spirit instead of what lights my ego up because that eventually will drain my soul because my soul will continue to cry out for me in different ways until i fucking hear it and listen wow so prioritizing your alignment prioritize your alignment i really encourage you to look up at the chakras to figure out if there's any that you resonate with the most I'm going to look at I am humble and then we'll close this off my foot is asleep I hope y'all are not <laughs> I'm just kidding um, maybe like singing if you have energy within you that you need to get out go for a drive and sing Go for a drive and sing. You don't always have to do exercise to get it out. That is, I guess, exercise for your for your, for your throat. I'm humble. Okay. Let's get this. That's oh, so beautiful. Can I show boobs on here? I don't know. Just kidding. The virtue of humbleness is the embodiment of the ideal of gentle confidence. This tender certainty pays homage to the notion that you are part of the all, a living, breathing consciousness with within creation an amalg amalgamation of every element a child of the earth a silver of the star a sliver of the stars <laughs> be humble for you are made of earth be noble for you are made of stars serbian proverb it is advisable to remember the humble wisdom and modesty because every living breathing consciousness is a part of this all and every creation within creation is a part of the all a humble soul can stand proud and feel gratitude for their unique place within infinite space without having to shout their perception of worth from the rooftops. That's what I feel here. It's either you being like, look at me, recognize me, see me, see me, I'm good. You know, or somebody doing that. Like saying something, it's like, it's like saying something in a, in a group environment, saying something to others to validate your ego, to fill your ego. And with the empress here it's like really the advice is see that part of you see that urge see that egoic urge that comes up in you don't shame it but just see it and be like interesting like this is all within you all internal this is like interesting that's why the outcome here is the hierophant it's it, it's you deepening your spiritual understanding of yourself it's literal soul evolution here it's like interesting interesting that i felt like i needed to one-up that story interesting like i felt that i needed to say oh i've done that and interrupt someone do you know what i mean empress is saying fall back and give yourself the space like a like a, a nurturing parental figure a nurturing divine feminine so it's like wow i see i see you i accept you unconditionally saying that to the part of you that felt the need to feed the ego over the soul um the humble human is aware that pride is a dangerous path and it is far better to embody I am humble than to constantly emit energies that can be perceived as a need to prove something or call for recognition and or social acceptance, what I just said. Through the idealization of being humble and actively embodying quiet confidence, a keen sense of compassion manifests. This is literally quiet confidence to a T. The transparent container which houses conceit is a boundary built on a subconscious foundation of inadequacy in seeking acknowledgement for for material worth or purely su su superficial pursuits one is displaying a lack of conscious connection as peace is replaced by a need for approval in embodying an energy of conceit you subconsciously empower darkness by separating yourself from light selfishly believing you are above all others sacrifice sacrificing your ego star of your ego if you really are serious about wanting to evolve sacrificing your ego sacrificing your egoic needs for your soul needs and this doesn't mean don't get this twisted with being like oh i wanted someone to love me in the way that i love them so i'm sacrificing that because that's my ego wanting to be loved no your soul wants to be loved too like there is discernment is necessary here an egoic way of desiring love is i want my partner should have showed up for me always 
Like, do you know what I mean? Like above, above their own needs. That's a go egg. Anyways, this could be a whole discussion in itself, but we'll continue. In embodying an energy of conceit, you subconsciously, oh, I already read that. Remember the tale of the emperor's new clothes for the antithesis, anti, antithesis of humbleness. A wealthy man had everything, but needed to always be ahead of all others. Yet when he, has, when he was served his timeless lesson and exposed to the public, the moral of the myth revealed that the soul is always transparent in its actions and behavior, no matter what you're wearing. Are you naked in your authentic truth or are you covered in lies spun from the finest fabric? A humble heart needs nothing more than what they already are. Wow, I have goosebumps. That is literally, I hold purity in highest esteem. esteem. This doesn't mean purity as in like, I'm a virgin. That's not what purity means, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. That's not what that means. It means, it means hierophant. It means my soul. It means I prioritize my soul's, what was that? I think I had a, I think June, June, I, my mantra for June was I prioritize my soul's peace over my ego's comfort. So maybe that's something that you'd like to to keep in mind. Um, yeah. Do I feel like we need one more message? Or is this enough here? Let me just see. Let's see if the tarot wants to say one more thing is the tarot. What is the final final message for the collective for today? Because we're at 30 minutes. Yeah. The world and the ace of pentacles. When you finally close off the cycles that no longer serve you. So when you stop feeding internally within you what is not supportive of your soul evolution that's when you can move forward that's when you're gifted with this opportunity this new beginning yep and it involves you shedding and it involves you shedding what no longer serves you yep three of wands three of swords this waiting period of, of mourning, this waiting period of feeling, this waiting period of acknowledging, acknowledging, yep, started pouring again, acknowledging the intentions behind why you do things. These egoic, this, this um, desire, this urge to walk in ego, so, uh, the ego is not bad, by the way, okay? Don't ever think that something is good or bad. That's just, that's a very limited understanding of life there's no such thing as good and bad things are only good and bad when we humanly place morality on things okay good and bad is morality nothing has morality until we place it on it and this is extremely triggering to people but it's true okay anyways so needing to understand and respect divine timing. Respect when the ships are coming in. The three of wands is like, okay, I made a decision. I took the road that I wanted. And now I'm waiting for the blessings to come in. A lot of the times you might be in a waiting period because there's things that need to be, that need to surface. That need to surface. Um, really, really becoming clear with what, what are my intentions? Why am I, why am I drawn to this? Why is this egoic thing um, coming up for me? And that's what I wanted to say is that this this ego driven way of being so wanting to interrupt someone when they're speaking or whatever it's it's coming it's stemming like we said from this this place of inadequacy what does that place of inadequacy come from you know what i mean like go deeper why why is that there why do i feel i'm inadequate in this in this spot it's because you broke your heart at one point you broke your heart by choosing something you broke your heart by being with someone you broke your heart by situations Right, your heart was broken, and that is why you have this egoic need, because there is something within you that is trying to be seen. It's 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 triggered. Every trigger is a opportunity for you to deepen your understanding of yourself. Don't get it twisted. Everything is working for you. Felt that really strongly in my right ear. That's my left ear. Okay, the wheel of fortune coming up. It's like when you when you put in the work, when you when you're not afraid to quiet your mind, to sit down with yourself, and to honor yourself in silence. That is when the universe actually allows things to turn in your favor. This is that spiritual quest. You want it. 
you wanted to deepen yourself, you're like, I want to deepen my abilities, I want to do this, blah, 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 blah. All right. All right, it's coming. A new start is coming. So, biggest messages we had here was grounding into the earth, okay? Really becoming conscious of why we want to do what we want to do. What are we consuming? What is what is the desire behind that consumption? Staying open to discovering and, and being giving ourselves grace when, when the things that we are uncovering about ourselves aren't exactly what we wish they were. Not all flowers, you know what I mean? They hurt. They hurt having to really sacrifice our, our ego, sacrifice trying to put ourselves first, sacrifice maybe even a timeline that you thought that you needed to be on. Your soul is the one in charge here. I don't know if you noticed that yet. And the more you try to let your ego run the ship, the more you're missing the fucking gate, the more you're missing the dock. So surrender. And I love you so much. And I will see you so soon. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. And let me know how this resonated for you. So... Bye. Love you.